Oh, okay. Excellent. All right, good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for our webinar tonight. Uh, as you can see on your screen, tonight we'll be talking all about uh, marine geomatics, which is a graduate certificate program here at NSCC. Uh, I'm Jessica, so I work with the recruitment team, uh, student recruitment coordinator, so happy to chat about all things admissions and recruitment. And I'm also joined by Dan Arsenault. Dan, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. I'm uh, faculty for the marine geomatics program. Uh, happy to be taking over from Brian and working with Troy. So I've got the bunch this year. So we're going to uh, do a description, uh, an outline of the program and hopefully inform some folks and uh, foster some interest in the program. Great. All right. So we'll start with the land acknowledgement. NSCC is located in Mi'kma'ki, the unceded territory and traditional homeland of the Mi'kmaq Nation. Our relationship is based on a series of peace and friendship treaties between the Mi'kmaq Nation and the Crown, dating back to 1725. As treaty beneficiaries, we recognize that we are all treaty people. And SCC also recognizes the African Nova Scotians as a distinct group who arrived here 400 years ago. From that time on, they have contributed to the infrastructure and economic wealth of the towns and cities they helped to build, but from which they could not benefit. Let us learn more about how our respective communities were shaped by the historical contributions of the African Nova Scotia. All right, so just a few housekeeping items. If this is your first webinar uh, here with NSCC, uh, for the duration of the webinar, your cameras will be off and you will be muted, so we can't see or hear you. Uh, if you have any questions throughout the webinar, uh, you can use the questions box on the control panel, control panel on your screen be monitoring the questions and we'll get to those at the end. Um, and if your questions happen to be uh, more personal, so questions about your own application or questions that aren't related to marine geomatics, uh, you can email us at recruitment at nscc.ca and we'll be able to get you a more personalized answer for your particular application. Uh, and today is February 28th, 2024 that we're having this webinar. So if you're tuning in after this fact, uh, just know that the information may have changed. So you're always welcome to check our website for most up-to-date information about this program. But as of today, this is all that you're gonna to need to know about marine geomatics. Uh, so NSCC, if you're unfamiliar, is the Nova Scotia Community College. Uh, what sets us apart from other post-secondary education uh, institutions in the province 
uh, is that we have very small class sizes and we also have lots of hands-on learning. So no matter what program you take, whether it's marine geomatics or administrative professional or practical nursing, uh, you'll have lots of hands-on learning opportunities. And we'll get to that a bit um, more in more particular details about marine geomatics. Uh, we have locations throughout Nova Scotia. So depending on where you are in the province, there might be a campus near you. Our instructors come with real world experience. So a lot of them come from uh, directly from the industry that they're teaching in. And we have lots of great facilities and technology. Again, we'll get into that a little bit later, um, specifically related to marine geomatics. Um, and we're also very focused on graduate employment. So no matter what program you take, um, it's all geared towards that end result of getting you in the career or the industry that you've chosen. So this is a map of Nova Scotia. So we're on the Eastern coast of Canada. And like I mentioned, we have 14 campuses. Uh, those are all the white dots that you see on your screen are all of our main campuses. And then the green dots are learning centers or specialized institutes that we also have. So for today's webinar, we'll be talking about the Annapolis Valley campus and more particularly the Center for Geographic Sciences, which we call COGS. So uh, these are just the other campuses we have across the province, but we'll be circling in on those, those two there uh, for tonight. So the Annapolis Valley campus uh, is the main campus and that's located in Middleton. Uh, but marine geomatics takes place predominantly at COGS and that's just down the road in Lawrencetown. So COGS is the Center for Geographic Sciences and it's the largest geomatics training institute and a world leader in geospatial engineering technology programs. Uh, if you wanna learn more about the campus in particular, you can visit the website there. Uh, and there's a population of about 316 students uh, so it's a nice size and it's located in a rural part of Nova Scotia. Uh, the nice thing about this campus is that we can offer housing specifically at the COGS Center. So it's a great option if you're coming from away or not in driving distance. Uh, you can see how close it is to the COGS in the photo there. So you're just steps away from your classroom to your bedroom. So it's not, not too bad at all. It's a great option because uh, housing is, um, a challenge in Nova Scotia. So if you're able to stay on campus, that's that's even better. So just something to keep in mind when you're considering this program. All right, so I'm gonna pass it off to Dan and he's gonna tell you a little bit more specifically about marine geomatics and what it all entails. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, that was a great introduction to the college. <laughs> um, the marine geomatics program is a uh, one year advanced diploma uh, Cogs in Lawrencetown. I'm a product of the program myself. Uh, I guess I should give you a little background on myself. Uh, I graduated in the early 2000s uh, from uh, NSIT, the uh, Electronics Engineering Technician Program. After completing that program, I did some telecom work uh, locally for a while. Uh, and went back to Acadia to finish my BSc in geology. So at that point, I found myself uh, with a decision to make. Uh, I, I had the decision to go out west and pursue geology, but I found the marine geomatics uh, program. So uh, I found this online and I decided to give it a go. And uh, it was life changing for me uh, with my electronic skill set and a background in uh, geology. Uh, I was able to take this uh, eight month experience and turn it into uh, two careers now. And so it's uh, led me to uh, great success personally. So here on the slide, we have uh, one year length. So we start in uh, uh, September. Uh, we have two uh, terms at COGS on site uh, where we do both uh, field work, uh, lab work with survey systems as well as all the theory uh, that goes with the marine geomatics program. Uh, during all those terms, you get all the uh, skills and theory needed and hands-on practice uh, to complete the springtime field school, which we offer generally in Digby, uh, and it can run uh, one to two weeks where we go into the field, uh, collect data uh, to produce bathymetric survey surfaces uh, as well as uh, LIDAR point clouds of our survey area. All right, we can go to the next slide, please. Thank you. 
the emission requirements. Uh, um, we need uh, currently a diploma related technology program or an undergraduate degree in science and engineering. Uh, I've seen many people uh, over the years come through the COGS program with uh, uh, many different backgrounds in science and technology. Uh, uh, and be successful and have long successful careers in industry. Uh, I suggest anybody with a technical or science background with the interest uh, for marine geomatics uh, who'd like to travel the world, uh, 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 this may be an interesting uh, avenue for you to uh, explore. Next slide, please. Some of our courses that we offer, we have uh, Fundamentals of GNSS uh, program in the first term. Um, when you're uh, surveying offshore from a vessel, uh, GNSS is your uh, tie into any sort of uh, control in the world. So uh, there's an in introduction to that course. And then the second term, you get uh, GNSS applications, which are some higher precision positioning uh, applications for uh, using the GNSS systems. Uh, you get geodesy and map projections. So in the marine geomatics world, all of the software and navigation software, as well as the software used uh, to present the data, uh, all uses uh, map projections to accurately uh, project uh, data that is collected on a 3D globe onto a 2D uh, map or uh, some sort of representation. So uh, how they do that mathematically is covered in the geodesy and map projections. Uh, marine geoscience focuses a lot on uh, multi-beam uh, data collection for bathymetric uh, survey. Uh, marine construction is uh, my background in industry. I've worked 10 years in marine construction, so I lead a marine construction course. And we cover all the main aspects of uh, marine constructions, uh, the sensors that go with that and the calibrations on top of that, as well as LIDAR applications, both terrestrial LIDAR and subsea LIDAR. I have uh, a couple years experience using um, subsea LIDAR. Uh, 3D at depth system, so uh, we like to do cover uh, both terrestrial and subsea. All right, next slide, please. All right, so this is a typical, uh, actually, no, this is the exact schedule this year. Obviously, uh, some of the days may change, but this is what your uh, schedule would look like for term one. Um, we have a field work one program where we go over basic survey, land survey techniques, which ties into everything we need to do uh, in field school, as well as our uh, calibrations and verifications uh, before the survey takes place. So uh, we have a, one full day of field work. So uh, that grants us great opportunity in the fall time when the weather is still nice to get outside and get some really hands-on experience with that stuff. Uh, intro to hydrography is the intro uh, to charting and uh, to all things uh, in the hydrography world. It's a nice uh, basic outline and it leads directly into marine geoscience and marine construction courses in your second term. Uh, your computer-aided drafting and design in uh, the marine geomatics world, a lot of our data needs to be presented visually. One of the tools we use for that is, is CAD. Uh, there's various iterations of CAD, so we try to focus in the marine geomatics program on uh, uh, marine-based uh, projects. Uh, geodesy and map projections, like I mentioned, this is the uh, mathematics that makes the uh, transition from uh, positioning on a 3D globe to a 2D representation possible. So we uh, give a full course in that in the first term so everybody is uh, confident using the software on uh, a proper position projection. Uh, MGO. 511, the fundamental GIS course. In this day and age, uh, GIS is in all aspects of our lives. Everybody uses uh, Google Maps these days. There's a perfect example of GIS. 
So um, this course provides the opportunity for people to get an introduction to the GIS world and some popular GIS softwares and uh, taking you through the basic GIS mechanics. Uh, the Computer Essentials course uh, gives a uh, basic introduction to a lot of the computer skills necessary uh, to be proficient in the industry. Uh, these days, it uh, doesn't seem to matter what uh, profession or industry you're in, you're going to spend quite a bit of time on computers. So this gives you a good introduction to that stuff and some uh, helpful tools to help you uh, in your career and in the course. Uh, I already mentioned the fundamentals of GNSS. Uh, it, GNSS is the modern uh, way to position uh, anything on the globe. It's 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 cheap relatively to most other types of surveys, and it can be completed by one person. So uh, there's a focus on this, and it, and we learned about it in both term one and term two. Uh, and I believe that is the whole first semester. So uh, next slide, please. We'll uh, give a brief description of term two and move on. Uh, so I've already mentioned marine construction, that's my background, uh, where we go all over all aspects of uh, marine construction, the sensors that are used, the positioning techniques, the calibrations, uh, and the setup in three main types of survey softwares. Uh, we use NavView from 40 Nav, we use QPS Quincy for the multi-beam and sonar collection, we also have access to Ivan Navi Pack, which we uh, do exercises in, so the students get exposure to the three main types of navigation software that you'll see in industry. Uh, Fieldwork 2 is uh, different in turn two in the winter. It's cold outside, so uh, I like to cater to students the best we can. So we, we focus all our work inside on the survey systems that we're going to be using in field camps. So uh, we uh, learn all about them, we interface them together, we document how they're interfaced together, uh, test everything so we're prepared uh, for the spring term aboard the vessel. Uh, there's also LIDAR applications uh, added to that uh, in this day and age in remote sensing. It uh, doesn't matter if it's aerial or bathymetric LIDAR. LIDAR is a popular method uh, to produce models uh, of things that uh, we can't tangibly touch. Uh, therefore, we give them the remote sensing uh, terrestrial side of LIDAR and the bathy LIDAR uh, portion is covered in the marine geomatics or the marine construction, sorry. All right, thanks, next slide. All right, I like to focus on hands-on learning. Um, um, you guys are all sitting here listening to me. We're 10 minutes in. I'm sure some of you uh, probably tuning out a little bit. I, I don't really like hearing myself talk either. So I really like to focus and, and, and all instructors uh, at COGS like to focus on getting some real hands-on learning in. So uh, from left to right here, we get some pictures of all three phases. Uh, we have our, our beautiful new uh, lab uh, on the left with all of our uh, survey sensors and PCs laid out uh, and networked. So the students get a hands-on uh, learning and testing with all of those systems throughout uh, the entire experience. Um, it's always open to the students, but their focus is in there in the second term in the winter. In the middle there, uh, that is us set up in the gym. So we have the benefit on site at COGS to have wonderful support staff. Uh, and they were able to coordinate uh, targets in the gym. So using those coordinated targets in the gym and setting up uh, four total stations, one of them being robotic, we were able to do a pseudo LBL exercise. Uh, LBL is a subsea positioning method. It's very expensive. Uh, but here at COGS, we like to be uh, try to give students every experience we can. So we came up with this experience where we didn't need a vessel, but we can uh, duplicate the survey task. And here on the right is uh, how we love to finish every year. Uh, we are uh, students in field school on a vessel, uh, applying what they've learned throughout the term, uh, collecting data to do a bathymetric survey of a, uh, 
uh, cable lay into Cornwallis Beach. Uh, just a personal note of interest, the gentleman on the bottom right, Nigel Moyer, I've worked with him uh, several times in industry. He, he's a really good fella, uh, just a great example of a COGS product uh, that I've come across in the industry. Um, our COGS graduates are highly coveted in industry. All right, next slide, please. All right, so integrated learning is the foundation of our programs. Um, I would postulate that you can only learn so much from listening to me talk and watching me draw poorly on the board. This is why we like to uh, uh, reinforce all our learning by uh, by getting out in the field and doing the hands-on bit. And I find it gives a, a better universal learning environment, as well as you can see from the scenery on the boat on the far right picture, it's uh, definitely a beautiful office. All right, next slide, please. All right. Our programs are definitely designed for industry. Uh, at this point in my career, I'm 10 years removed from my graduation in 2013. And uh, I know of many COGS graduates and marine geomatics uh, graduates uh, in different roles, uh, supervisory roles at this point uh, in industry. And uh, uh, it's a very small community. So uh, we are all very well connected. Uh, I guess a great example of how well connected we are is this year, unfortunately, we only had uh, five students at this point. And I would hazard a guess to say we have at least 10 companies that are looking for one or more students. So um, uh, uh, industry, has learned over the years that we produce quality graduates and they continually come to us looking for those same quality graduates year in, year out. Next slide, please. Student success, yes. Well, I guess this really rolls right off of what I was just saying. Our graduates are in demand. Uh, I'm in constant contact with our industry partners. And a lot of the feedback that I get is centered around, they have a certain expectation uh, for their employees, but they have even ex higher expectations for the folks that they get from the COGS and the NGO program, because over the years, we've just set such a high standard of excellence. Next slide, thanks. And program fees. Uh, Personal note, I uh, don't think they've increased much since I attended 10 years ago. Uh, honestly, uh, for the domestic amount, the Canadian, uh, I would hazard a guess that there's not a cheaper, uh, uh, more condensed uh, um, education path available on the market, to tell you the truth. Uh, in eight months, uh, you can go from having a BSc and uh, contending whether you want to go to a master's program or, or what life path you might want to take. This uh, investment and eight months of your time uh, could make you qualified as a graduate surveyor, uh, which can uh, fetch starting salaries anywhere from sixty to $70,000. Flexible working time, um, you can uh, generally work on the $180 180 day sorry contract in these graduate surveyors positions um, so it really allows you to have a lot of flexibility in your life in your living arrangements um, coming from a person who's always lived in rural Nova Scotia uh, it's afforded me the ability to finish my program at NSCC and stay living in rural Nova Scotia and with minimal commuting to work next slide please All so, right. <laughs> okay, this is you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can take it over if you'd like. But... <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sure you are the expert when it comes to this. I certainly am not. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm seeing lots of great questions in the chat too. So keep them coming and we'll get to them at the end of the webinar. Um, so as Dan just mentioned, um, there is a financial commitment to coming into the Marine Geomatics program or any program at NSCC. So just wanted to put a plug in that we have lots of scholarships and bursaries and awards available to students. 
um, and on a range of criteria. So it could be on your financial need, it could be a particular community you come from, uh, it could be your volunteer experience or your work experience or even your academic standing. So our scholarships portal will open in the spring, so in just a couple of weeks. Um, and most um, awards are open to students when they've, once they've been accepted and confirmed. So um, that's when you're going to see the most awards is once you're an accepted student. So you should get those applications in and then you'll be able to see all of the uh, scholarships, scholarships we have available. Uh, and lots of great services and resources available to you on campus too. So whether it's the Annapolis Valley campus or COGS or anything like that, um, all of our students are assigned a student services advisor uh, and that advisor is with you for the duration of your program and they can help you with anything student services related. So whether it's questions about financial aid or if you're struggling with a course or if you need some accommodations, uh, those would be your first points of contact. Uh, we also have supports available for Indigenous students, African Canadian students, as well as international students. So if you belong to any of those groups, uh, you'll have additional resources as well at your disposal. Um, lots of events on campus. So even before you're a real student in September, you'll attend a Get Started um, event in the spring, as well as orientation, just to get you acquainted with the campus and your main contacts on campus. Uh, we have accessibility services and academic supports as well. So if you have a documented learning disability or if you need some extra time on a test, uh, we have people in place to help you out with that as well. Uh, personal and career counseling. So if you're struggling with something in your personal life or if you need some help with a resume or finding a job or your work placements, uh, there's lots of counselors available for that as well. So it's a very supportive environment in NSCC. So um, everyone's working together to make sure that you are successful in your program. Um, so how to apply to NSCC. So if we've convinced you to apply for marine geomatics, that's great. Uh, so you'll first go to the marine geomatics website, which is called a program page. So if you go to nscc.ca slash 2024 programs, you'll find marine geomatics there. And you can see seed availability, um, an outline of all the courses that Dan mentioned, um, what you could do after you're finished studying with us. Um, and then that's where you'll apply as well. There'll be a big green apply button, so you can click on there. Uh, once you've applied, you'll send in your transcripts. So for marine geomatics, it would have to be a post-secondary transcript. So whether it's an NSCC program that you've taken or at another university, uh, you get your transcripts submitted to admissions. Um, and if there's a slot in the program, then you'll be accepted. If not, you'll be waitlisted. Uh, right now for marine geomatics, um, international students are waitlisted, um, but that just means that we're just going to hold on to your application until a little bit later and then release you a decision um, in a couple of months time. Uh, but for domestic students, applications are open right now. Um, once you've been accepted, you'll pay your confirmation deposit and just hold tight until your get started event um, or orientation in September. So uh, that's a basic rundown of how to apply, but it's a pretty straightforward application. If you have any questions, you can reach out to uh, admissions or recruitment and we'll happy to help you through it. Uh, and here's just some ways to follow NSCC. So we're on Facebook, um, X and Instagram as well. So just a nice way to kind of see what our students are up to or any new events or news that's coming up. So it's great to stay connected through our social channels. And questions. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to recruitment uh, or Dan directly there has offered. If you have any specific questions about marine geomatics, he's happy to help out. Uh, and let's see, we'll get to some questions here. Let's see what we have. Okay, so there's a question here about um, how competitive the program is. Um, so for the most part, NSCC programs are based on when you apply, so that's the competitiveness of it is how early you get your application in. Applications are assessed based on application date, so not necessarily how high your marks are, um, but how early you've applied. So that would be how competitive. Um, and maybe this is a question for Dan. Um, how large are the class sizes? I think you mentioned it briefly, but we could just 
circle well, back. Well, this year to we have uh, five students, which certainly is allowing for a lot of one-on-one -on -one instruction. It's great. I'm sure the students are enjoying that. I hope they are anyways. Uh, um, generally, I think they have the class size set as 10. Uh, uh, but uh, I would be happy to go with 16. Uh, 16 would be a wonderful number. So the more the merrier. Uh, everybody is is welcome. I would love to see a large class. I feel like uh, there's lots of learning that can be done from your classmates as well as your instructor while you're, while you're doing the hands-on experience with all of this stuff where it's an advanced diploma. Uh, everybody coming in has uh, success in academics before, so it can really create uh, uh, some really great learning environments for folks uh, working with their peers. So 16 would be a wonderful number. Uh, I hope we get some uh, applications after this. Great. Um, there's a question here about application fee waiver. Uh, but this time we're not waiving application fees, um, but stay tuned to our socials because sometimes we'll offer free applications through open house or um, events like that. Um, another question here about um, our agreement with Acadia University. We didn't touch on this in the app, in the uh, presentation, um, but we do have an articulation agreement with Acadia, which is in Wolfville. Um, so an articulation agreement basically just means that they have recognized uh, the marine geomatics program as equivalent to the first year of their Master of Applied. I wrote it down, apply, Master of Science in Applied Geomatics. <laughs> so if you finish one year of marine geomatics, that counts towards one year at Acadia in their master's program. So another um, good thing to consider, you can always grow in this career. Um, another question here about um, job prospects outside of Nova Scotia. So do you find that most students find work in Nova Scotia or are they able to get work other places in Canada? Well, uh, uh, generally, uh, the, the work is international. So, so uh, uh, I come from a marine construction background for my 10 year career. Uh, I would receive uh, flights uh, uh, in an email and, and then I would know that I'm going for my, my month hitch or six weeks at a time. So it's generally four weeks on, four weeks off or six weeks on, six weeks off, depending on the project and they pay you door to door. So uh, the moment I leave my house, uh, I'm on the books getting paid. They fly you to your work site, they pay for your meals, your hotels, they're responsible for you until you come back. Uh, and I think that was uh, one of the really big bonuses for me. I already had a young family at the time I took the program, but uh, the career path allowed me uh, to stay in rural Nova Scotia with my family, where I'm very happy to raise my family. It's a great uh, place to raise your kids. And I was able to have this career, high-paced career, uh, travel internationally and, and get a real world-class education uh, uh, from the work experience uh, uh, and, and remain in Nova Scotia. Now, uh, that being said, uh, should a person come from another part of the world, it makes no difference to these companies uh, where you, you're traveling from, uh, that cost is passed on to the end client. So should you live in Ontario, should you uh, live in Africa, India, there's opportunities in all of these places all over the world. Uh, there, there's marine construction projects. As we develop as people, we, we, we develop more things. And, and uh, so th this is a truly global opportunity. Uh, and it's a doorway to get in uh, to a lot of these companies, which are truly international companies. Uh, uh, Acteon is uh, a big company, international marine construction. Uh, partners are Benthic and Terrason and uh, UTEC as well. Uh, um, some of these big international companies are happy to uh, look at people from all, all parts of the world and they allow you to live in all parts of the world and you just are responsible to travel to the work site uh, when your time is on. I hope that helped. Um, another question here. We can kind of tag team this one. Uh, what support does NSCC offer to graduates in looking for jobs? Um, so I know in general, um, I know COGS has an industry expo, I believe, 
every year that students can look for uh, positions that way. Um, and you're also working with your student services advisor uh, to secure your career afterwards. And then Dan, maybe you can just mention how quickly, I know you said a lot of the students receive job offers before they <laughs> finish the program or right after they're finished. So. Oh, certainly. Yeah. For years and years and years. I mean, uh, my experience personally, I think I got uh, interviewed at the end of February and uh, by April, I think I had my first offer. I, I was fortunate, but by the end of uh, field camp, everybody had been hired. I mean, obviously we're dealing with a lot of different companies, large companies. These companies have HR departments. So uh, we have some really great programs. Uh, we have an industry expo in the winter term where we have uh, some industry partners come and, and meet everybody and answer some questions. Uh, it's a really great opportunity to get a face to face with some of these people. And they certainly are taking uh, CVs and cover letters back for considerations to hiring. So uh, we provide uh, many opportunities uh, for people to uh, meet uh, folks in industry, as well as where it's such a large international community, not all people can make it to Cogs, uh, but we we have a, a lot of industry contacts. And like I mentioned before, I believe I've seen upwards of a dozen emails from companies requesting we pass on their information to our students for applications. So uh, um, certainly do not have to do much of a search yourself. Honestly, I would encourage everybody to to put some clinical thought into your path. Uh, however, by registering and becoming part of the program, uh, we have highly coveted grads and we have industry partners coming to get them. Great. That's great. Um, I think that is our last question for tonight. Oh, um, sorry, I forgot on this... to mention, uh, we did have 40 companies this year at the industry expert. I just saw that flash oh, nice. across the screen. So, I mean, there's lots of choice and, and it's not just the marine industry. Should you come uh, for the marine thing, uh, um, you get the uh, full scope of all uh, industry partners that are attached to COGS and it's really great uh, uh, stepping off point for many in the industry mm -hmm. lots of options to fit, find the right fit for for you and what yeah, you want to do in your career certainly. um oh another question <laughs> last minute <laughs> addition uh does this program help with job prospects in a variety of fields so i guess can you go many different directions after finishing marine geology you, you certainly can uh, there's options like we mentioned to go to the cadia to their master's program there's certainly uh, other uh, atlantic universities unb has a geomatics master's program uh, mund in in newfoundland as well i have colleagues that uh, have have studied there as well uh, so uh, it's also a gateway to some of those opportunities as well. I believe uh, uh, we have someone on site that's able to help with the Acadia connection to the master's program. And there is also a uh, um, uh, connection through our faculty to uh, the UNB uh, program as well. So again, my email's on the screen. If if people had uh, more uh, specific questions about how our project, our programs connect, or anybody to contact for further information, please reach out. I'm more than happy to uh, get right back to you. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, that is our last question. <laughs> um, so that will be it for us tonight. Um, you can check out all the other webinars we have coming up. We have one specifically on scholarships coming up, um, other programs that you might be interested in as well. Um, but if you have any questions, like Dan mentioned, you can email recruitment or uh, Dan directly, and we're happy to uh, answer any questions you might have. So thanks so much for joining us tonight, and Thank we hope to see everybody. you in the Marine Geomatics program. If I could just mention one more thing, Jessica, I apologize, yeah. everybody. I just shared a link in the uh, chat there. That's for a virtual campus tour. So uh, I've been asked to share that. So if you guys would like the virtual campus tour, the uh, link is in the chat there for you. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to share that with everyone. Oh, okay, perfect. That's okay. Yeah, I didn't know if my <laughs> chat's right where they went. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so you can click that link to uh, see a virtual campus tour. 
Uh, and you can also that was my last thing. I'm sorry again, just <laughs> That's for one okay. more thing. We had uh, a couple folks come in uh, to the expo this year that wanted to test drive the course. So if anybody's interested and able to get to COGS, uh, I would love to have you come in. Uh, we'll welcome you into our class. We'll do our, our, our daily activities and include you uh, to whatever your comfort level may be. So uh, that's always an option. Again, please reach out. And Jessica, I apologize. I will not interrupt you. <laughs> no, that's a good that's a good point. You can do a test drive of uh, any program. Uh, and that's kind of a more personalized campus tour. So you, like Dan mentioned, sit down on classes, do any lab work that they're doing, go to the cafeteria, that kind of thing. Um, and then you can also do a campus tour, which would be more general overview of a specific campus. So both of those are bookable on the website as well. So again, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, hope to see you at Green Geomatics in the fall uh, or in any future intakes. And thanks again. Thanks, everybody.